Hello and welcome to SlimWalletJunkie.com's unboxing and video review of the Wessel Wallet. So here we have the Wessel Wallet as it arrived and you might be able to spot on the front there there is a uh, custom slip so unfortunately I did have to pay some some tax to bring this in so that's something to be aware of if you are ordering within the United Kingdom or I think anywhere within the EU but it wasn't a massive amount. So as we open it up we'll see the Beards Wessel Guide which is the guide on the inside of the packaging to the Wessel and it says here that the the wallet the leather on the wallet will be very tight at first and, and I'll show you that, that is the case but that is a warning that that's the way it's supposed to be because it is genuine high quality leather it's going to be that way and that's that's the case with almost all high quality leather wallets so it's just warning you there that it will be difficult and then on the other side it's talking about how to Wessel how to use it as a phone stand and I'll show you that in action a little bit later on. So we can see that the Wessel wallet, it's got the Wessel logo embossed at the bottom there. It's got subtle uh, stitching into the leather which blends in but adds a nice bit of detail. And it's high quality, good stitching, it's not going to, no loose fraying edges or anything like that. And you can see that the leather is also a good quality. It's quite thick, but it's a good quality high grain. So that is the profile of the wallet itself and we can see that it, it bends back it's got these two card slots here on the inside and it's got one slot on the outside it's quite a simple design there's not too much going on so let's just get started with loading it up with a few cards so i'll put one card into this slot you can see that this is taking quite a bit of force to push it in it did warn us that at first it would be very tight over time it will loosen up that's the way that the genuine high quality leather works you're just going to have to have a bit of patience with it it really does take a little bit of force to get these cards in at the moment. So you can see a couple of cards there on the inside. There's also a pocket on the outside that you can put another card into. As I show here, place this in again. It's quite difficult to, to access at first. It will get easier as, as it said. So you can see that it's not quite closing. And again, that will change over time as the lever wears and it kind of bends and, and forms the way you use it. It will close a little bit better. You could also use this pocket for cash. You could have a card and some cash in. I'm just going to put some cash in to show how that would work. Fold it up into quarters there. And you could use this for your, your cash pocket or, or another card as I've shown. So those are the pockets that are in the Wessel. Quite simple, straightforward design. So if I take the cash out there, I'll show you how to Wessel, as it calls it, or how to use it as a phone stand, which is one of the main features of this wallet design. So you push together those two cards so they interlock in a way you can get your phone you can stand it up there just slots in and the pocket keeps it stable there it's quite simple to do easily done you don't have to remove all your cards and as you can see i give it quite a good shake and it's still pretty pretty stable you could turn that the other way as well that would work fine so that's how you can use it as a phone stand how you can wessel as they call it and so you can see there the wallet get some cash back in there to show how it would look and normal everyday use it's quite a it's quite a straightforward wallet but it's good quality leather it's easy to get cash out there you can see it's not so easy to push it back in but it's, it's not difficult and then the difficulty comes in in getting these cards out it really does take quite a, a little bit of force and is it did warn us this is going to be the case this is just the case with the type of good leather that's used you're going to have to first have a bit of patience this will get a lot easier be able to pull it in and out a lot simpler than that in in a few weeks or months of use but it's a sign of the the quality of the leather as i say so i'm going to try putting two cards in now this is probably a little bit ambitious in, an, in a brand new wallet of this type but i'm going to do it just to show you how it works so i can get a couple of cards into this pocket and it's taking a little bit of persuasion but I can get that in there that's going to work and um, can get them in it's not too difficult again I could get another one in here so you could get four cards into the middle and you could have another card maybe even two on the outside pocket depending on how much you want to really push it but this isn't the kind of wallet that you really want to be overstuffing because you're going to see that as I close it up it's then it's quite it's getting a, not, not so much bulky but it is getting larger and it's not closing all the way it's kind of springing back open again that will get slightly better as you use it more but that's just the case with this wallet so it's one that you're going to want to use if you 
quite minimalist. You carry just a few cards and a little bit of cash. The Onsac stylish. The Onsac with good quality leather. As you can see, the measurements on it here on each side of the profile. It's not not too thick. It's not massively slim, but definitely not thick. So that is the Wessel wallet. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do like and consider subscribing to the channel. And also don't forget you can visit our blog for the latest Slim Wallet news and visit our shop for the best Slim Wallets. If there are any wallets you think we should take a look at, please do suggest them in the comments section below. Thank you.